So what are we looking at right here? So this is um, like a, a school uh, in the 20s, and this school has like 14 like nationalities represented here. And it's like, wow, I never thought that I would see this diverse classroom. It looks like a modern classroom. Right. And so, and but that's, we had a, the Union Jack. And tell uh, me, what do you use these kinds of photos for? Well, when I'm doing a period piece, I want to inspire the crew and, and the cast and tell them, like, just build a world. Because, like, we've got this idea of, in terms of our traditional thinking of what the world used to look like, mm -hmm. uh, based on period pieces that we've seen <laughs> in the past. When we were little, right. When we were little, yeah. uh, which most likely was not going to be very diverse. So what I want to do and I want to show people, there's a whole host of complicated, complicated history that we have to actually dig and, and actually do research and find the truth. Um, and so what I'm saying, and, and, and many other filmmakers, is that this, the history of this place is very diverse, more diverse than we ever thought. Uh, colored children's daycare, uh, and that's like in the 30s. Um, this is a, a Chinese man with his, his daughter giving his candy. This is like in the, in the 40s, this is a, a, a vets organization, a black veteran, a veterans organization. This is like a man with his seven daughters. <laughs> so this is like... And these are all Torontonians, these are local people. All Torontonians. This is back in the 70s, um, you know, w at an after-school program. Uh, but back in, back in the, you know, this is uh, native uh, uh, soldiers uh, back in the day. So th and so this is, again, like this is between the wars. So they're like, right here, there's a little black kid one amongst the bunch, and this is like a, a children's play at the art so gallery. So it's not a segregated uh, no, no. community at this point? No, and this is back in the 30s. Like, I think this is 1935. Um, but it's all of these, you know, this is again, like this is a, a, um, a, a church play. <laughs> it's the 35. journey to Bethlehem. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, the nativity play that you right. always see. So these are the kind of things that give me inspiration and just show, you know, how diverse this place used to be and still is. Amazing. So when you come armed with all that research that you do, does it tend to convince, I guess, the producers or the distributors or studio that you're hoping to woo with your story, uh, does it convince them? So sometimes it works, uh, and, but what I do do is I do a lot of, again, as a photo research, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, prime source research. So, you know, if I can get a census, if I get like all this kind of stuff, like, you know, firsthand accounts, uh, books, you know, books that are long, long out of print. Uh, those kind of things actually help. Uh, so, you know, it, it, it really depends on your primary sources. Uh, if you can bring them and, and actually convince them that it's a, an actual great story. So I think that those things are beginning to shape and beginning to happen. Okay, let's roll camera. It's something that I think as filmmakers, in order to tell the story of this country, we've got to do our research and, and get the story right.